Once upon a time, I had bigger dreams. I see a girl. Three, look, look. Two, one. That's gonna be you one day, Rex. I know it, Mom. But sometimes, life doesn't always work out the way you planned. Yo, yo. Can I get you another drink? <laughs> Ten years ago, I got lost. Last call, everybody, last call! But it's not too late. I'm gonna be an astronaut. Wait, come again? Dear NASA. No, girl. This resume will never get you in, but let's make a few changes that will. Dear NASA, I've accomplished everything I've ever wanted. Dr. Tiffany Simpson, you have been selected for astronaut training. I'm gonna be an astronaut! Johnson Space Center. I'm actually here. Dr. Stacy Kellogg, MD, PhD. Mancini, Captain, Jack. Violet Marie Veslovsky. We have a special name for astronaut candidates, ass cans. <laughs> what? <laughs> Over the next nine weeks, you will be trained and tested. Most of you will not pass. Mama, is that an astronaut? Not with my tax dollars, she's not. Are we sure Dr. Simpson belongs here? We need unconventional candidates. She built a series of gates to protect the manatees from speedboats. When we were kids, you inspired me. You took everything out about my resume being made up and said it wasn't made up. Get your ass back home before you hurt somebody. I was born to do this. Once you let your dreams out of the box, you can't just shove them back in. 723, you're clear for takeoff. Punch it, Flamingo. <laughs> land or what boom there you go that was a trailer for prime videos space cadet uh streaming right now on prime video as of july 4th 2024 i'm qp this is nerds rule the world and talking all things space cadet is my pal heather hurts how are you heather uh living my best life how about oh, you i'm good but i'm feeling a little bit of a space cadet uh, in both kind of connotations like i know everything but then also i feel like i don't know everything because it's been that kind of a day today heather i'm sure as well for you but uh i'm ready to talk about this film um ready to get into it like we do sure let's do let's it let's go uh going to speak for you it's on me uh the story uh we have rex she's a florida party girl um she has uh she's all about the environment she's very smart but um, she's also just herself, which is what we should all be. Just, you know, go for your dreams, but also be your true self. And, uh, uh, her plan, her trajectory, uh, was to like go to school, do all kinds of things, but her mother passes away. Um, and so it's just her and her dad kind of taking care of things and she becomes a bartender. She kind of goes away from her dreams, uh, due to just the mixture of, you know, what happened with her family and just everything else in her life. Um, but she's just... Uh, such an upbeat person, just a great uh, being. Um, but she also had these aspirations and she has this uh, super dope friend uh, who's like, yo, you wanted to go to NASA at one time. You wanted to do all this, that, and the third. Why don't you go for it? And so she applies and uh, when her friend sees this, it's like, uh, maybe let me gas this up a little bit to help her friend out. Um, so she tells a little few lies here and there to just help a friend, but that's what friends do. She gets into this program, the NASA space program. She's a uh, bona fide uh, ass can, if you will, which is uh, short for astronaut candidate. Heather, if I'm not mistaken. Yes. Uh, it's a joke in the trailer that you saw. Yeah. <laughs> ass cans, which ass is kind of hilarious, but also, you know, it's real, just an acronym. The military, the government loves their acronyms. What can I tell you? Mm -hmm. So she's an ass can. She's a space cadet and uh, she gets into this program. A lot of people, you know, are like, who's this person? Because she's not your normal cadet and rightfully so because her resume was flowered up a little bit, um, but she kind of proves herself uh, while she's in this program. Um, she then is found out, uh, eventually let go, but there's one person that, uh, and then, so she's let go. They then go on this space mission, but there's, a accident that occurs on the space mission. So there's only one person that can truly help them. And that's our girl Rex, uh, play, again, played by Emma Roberts. She gets called in 
has this, well, she doesn't get called in, but she figures out a way to help them. So helps out the program. They save her and just, there's your joyful ending. Uh, but, you know, there's a lot more to it and I won't spoil, but I think I spoiled in certain ways. Um, but I gave you the gist of the idea. Heather's like, he messed it up again this go around, but it's a great story, y'all. This is uh, what Heather <laughs> reminded me, legally blonde, but essentially NASA. And I think Emma Roberts does a phenomenal job. It just as uh, all as all of us should be, you know, no matter what path you take in life, you can always go back and pursue your dreams. And uh, there's a lot of heart in this. Uh, there's a lot of love in this. There's just, uh, uh, I, I love these characters. I think the characters were well cast. They all do their roles. Uh, but I also think there's another side story in friendship. And uh, Nadine Kai uh, is uh, played by Poppy Lou, who had the pleasure of interviewing. And I think she stole the show in many ways because we all want a great best friend that will ride or die with you. And her character certainly is that one for Emma Roberts. And so go check out my interview with Poppy Lou. And I also spoke with the writer director, Liz Garcia, who wrote the story. And I, I think she did a great job. There's a lot of, again, hearts in this. Uh, it's not Shakespeare, y'all, but it's just what it needs to be. It's a great popcorn film to enjoy with family and friends. But there's uh, your story. Let me throw it to Heather with the cast a little bit. I already kind of mentioned that, but if you could help me out there, Heather, because I... I, I I'm like I'm all over the place, Heather. Like I said, I'm a space cadet. I started off as a space cadet with this. I think I'm still a space cadet right now. <laughs> uh, no, that's fine. That's fine. I'm just hanging out in the corner, just doing my thing. Uh, um, we have Emma Roberts. Emma Roberts, who plays Rex Simpson. Um, we find out why she is called Rex Simpson. Um, we won't give that away because that's actually a really goofy story. That's super, super duper Florida girl, um, which is absolutely played up here if you are a florida man or a florida woman and you are easily upset by the term florida man or florida woman then you will not be happy by this film i'm going to give you that right now uh tom hopper who plays logan he plays logan o'leary um which i don't i can't quite tell if there's racism in there or not <laughs> but he plays uh, logan o'leary poppy lou who plays nadine kai uh, Gabrielle Union, who is a star no matter what she is freaking doing, uh, plays Pam Proctor. Uh, Kuho Verma, who plays Violet. Uh, Desi Lydic, who plays Dr. Kellogg. Uh, Dr. Stacy Kellogg. I'm sorry, Dr. Dr. Stacy Kellogg. Doctor. Um, Doctor. But that, that's uh, what her children call her. Um, Sebastian Yatra, Yatra who plays uh, to Todrick. Sam Robert. Ro Robans. Well, I'm, I'm good at names. I'm name good. Sam Robans, who plays her dad, who plays Rex's dad. Dave Foley, the amazing, truly one of a kind Dave Foley, who plays uh, Rudolph Bolton, who is kind of the head of NASA at the time. Um, Yasha Jackson, who plays Grace. Andrew Call, uh, who plays Jack, uh, Captain Jack. And we just got so many humans in this that it's, it's, it's incredible. This is a very large cast for how small, for how small it is. Um, there's a lot of really great players that do a lot of fun side things. Um, so keep your eye out on the entire show, on the entire film, not just what you see right in front of you. All right. So there is our cast and crew. Thank you very much, Heather. Uh, again, I feel like felt like I talked a lot. It was just a vomiting of the mouth. But uh, what did you think? Uh, did we do a reaction to this leading into this? What did you think uh, leading into it? And then uh, your thoughts on the film? We did do a we did do a react to this because you came in and you were just like, let's do a react. And then afterwards, you're like, I have a screener. So I was like, oh, OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. I am a space cadet, y'all. <laughs> uh, um, uh, my initial thoughts um, were, were once again, it's I, it's legally legally blonde, but in space. Um, it's a little bit more Florida girl, Florida lady than uh, than, you know, uh, New York high society. But it's still um, or California High Society. I apologize. I apologize, Reese Witherspoon. Um, but uh, it, this was a fun movie. It was. Was it a good movie? Was it a great movie? No. Um, did Did it tell the story it needed to tell? And were the characters a lot of fun? Absolutely. Um, this is not a movie that you're going to, you know, going to watch over and over and over again. It's one of those movies that you're just going to enjoy, have fun with. Um, maybe watch it a couple of times. I'm not saying you won't watch it again. It's just, this isn't one of those like hard hitting, you're going to fall in, desperately in love with it kind of movie. It's, this is just a fun movie to enjoy. Yeah. It's a, definitely a movie. I, I, yeah, that I want to go back into every now and then because it's just, it's, it's cute. It's cute. 
Um, uh, it had a lot of great moments and uh, themes and, and everything. I thought just just all of that was well done. Whereas most are just kind of there, <laughs> but but this had a good theme to it. Um, what really stood out for me, as I mentioned, in you know we I was blessed to have the opportunity to speak with Poppy Lou, uh, who's done quite a bit of uh, work. Um, but in here, uh, as an Asian American, and I spoke with her on this during my interview, we don't get a lot of roles like this. We don't we we're not painted as pregnant, uh, off the wall, weird, you know, kind of type roles. And uh, she gets to do all that, but yet is also like the bestest friend and will be ride or die. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, and carries throughout the film. She never changed. She was who she was throughout the film. And I just thought she was solid. Um, and just, I really enjoyed that performance because it, I, it's just refreshing uh, for re representation of what type of roles we get cast as and uh i thought she just did a phenomenal job and i just love that undercurrent of a you know just the super best friend throughout everything she was there her her character didn't change she was just like it and uh whereas in other projects you that that kind of a character might get adjusted here and there she she was the same throughout and, and held a, held her own and i thought it was just good writing in regards to her character um but also emma roberts um, I, I thought did great work as well um, in, in her role uh, and, and how her character progressed and everything. Um, I, I thought it was just good writing. So shout out to Liz Garcia. Uh, I'm curious of seeing more of her work. Um, did you have any other highlights for yourself or characters that you enjoyed or moments, uh, Heather? Um, I, I know I know that I'll never say anything bad about Gabrielle Union because I love her to death. Mm -hmm. But um one of the I really loved what one of the things that's really important about this film that 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 they really wanted to kind of hone in on is um differences. Everyone's different. Everyone does something. We're not looking for a carbon copy of the carbon copy. We want something different. We want you to be original. We or we want originality. We want something artistic. We want something fun. Um, you don't need to be the scientist who has done all the scientific things. Um, sometimes you need someone to think think outside the box to create to bring in uh, an opposing opinion to change the thought pattern, um, and that was one thing that Gabrielle Union's character uh, uh, Pam Proctor was supposed to be for. She's sitting there going, "I am incredibly, incredibly um, well trained. I am one of the best in my field. I do all of these things, but." I don't look like what you're what NASA is supposed to look like. I haven't gone in the same path that other people at NASA have done. And yet I am now the most decorated member of this team. Um, and I am one of the most bona fide, uh, uh, you know, heads of the department. Like I, I am I am the best of the best. And I didn't go the way that everyone is supposed to go. Um, and that was with so many of the characters. That's Rex's character. Um, that's what... Uh, um, uh, Poppy Lou's character did. It's these are all characters that aren't aren't on the on the straight and narrow. They're doing something different. Um, and I and I really love that Gabrielle Union just got to like kind of just blow off steam and be like, you know what? I'm just going to be me in this <laughs> character who is who is just the best of the best, and I'm just going to be me doing it because she's she's had one of those um, she's had those experiences in Hollywood, and she can finally be like. I got here a different way, but I'm still the best at what I do. So I'm going to show that. Agreed. Yeah, I, I'm happy you said that. I, I forgot that that was also an underlying component of the story as well. Um, that reminded me, uh, Violet, uh, who was played by Kuhu Verma, was mm -hmm. kind of like the roommate to Emma Roberts' character at the academy, if you will, the, through the going through the program. Um, you know, I, I think we all know how... Uh, you know, much like Asians, Asian, well, Asian, Indians are Asian, but like how, uh, well, if you're aware that we're kind of pushed in a lot of different respects by our parents. And, and uh, I know a lot of my Indian friends are kind of groomed the same way. All this weight when you're involved in like a program like this. Um, she's, you, you watch this character go through it. And then finally, when she meets Emma, Robert's character of Rex, she's like, just loosen up. Um, but then she kind of gets let go from the program and then eventually you know emma roberts character you know still has a relationship with her and kind of grooms her back but just that to have that representation shown you can try and you get all this pressure you get opened up you may fail but you can always come back just all of that you know uh rising and falling and getting back up again i just 
that's real life. And I, re I really appreciate that. And also even they try to kind of have a semi relationship with Emma's character and Tom Hopper's Logan O'Leary. You know, she didn't need a man. She still held her own with all of that. There, there wasn't like they had a, a slight romantic angle, but that wasn't part of this story. It wasn't, you know, a lot of that's kind of put into there with these kind of films. And I, I like that they didn't make that a focus or anything like that. Uh, it was really the strength of Emma and her character. Um, although that kind of was her gateway back into the thing or just leaning I, I, on that to help save her friends. Was it? I think. I, no, I, I'll say this. I don't, the, the, the love, the lovey dovey relationship thing was kind of weird to me. It was very forced. It felt kind of like they needed to do it, but yeah, then they I, straight away I, from it. And that's actually one thing. So we're talking about, about difference in dynamics and how they really were trying to break certain stereotypes in this. You have the pretty blonde girl who is incredibly smart, but broke away from what she did. And oh, she yeah. did, but she did things that she still really loved. Um, what was she, and I'm only saying this because it was in the trailer and don't get mad at me for spoiling. You can blame Kuya P for all those. Um, <laughs> but, you know, she wanted to be that, that Florida girl who, who got to fight gators. She enjoyed being a bartender. Was it what she absolutely wanted to do? No, but she was having fun. She was meeting people. She was enjoying it. These are things that she wanted to do as, and she was a proud Florida girl. She says that right at the beginning. Um, and it's one of those where that's okay. Being yourself is being yourself. But not every movie needs to have a romantic partner. Like, I, I would have been okay if they were, if, if she was just, if Rex was just goofily, like, like flirting with Dr. O'Leary and he just pushed her off entirely. Like the, the, the romance at angle was very, very strange. It was not natural. Um, that, that was really honestly, one of the things that threw me off from this movie, there were times when the weird ass flirting threw me out of the movie altogether. Mm. I won't deny it. I think they, it felt real, that, but it also wasn't instrumental to the story. So it played it. They, I think they played it just like they needed to, because I would have been upset if they made it an angle. Um, but it, it came and it went, you know, and that's no, like it went all the way through. It went all the way through. You think so? Yes, there were. Yes. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe that was to me. They could have done more because films. I think films when they do that do do more. Here they went there, but they didn't go all the way through. I don't know. I maybe I need to rewatch it. And I was doing maybe something maybe else. Maybe you need to rewatch it. <laughs> <laughs> but I, 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 I think I did. I, I liked it for all the difference it does compared to other films I've seen. Maybe and maybe I haven't seen enough films. But to me, it was just different. Um, and uh, I enjoyed kind of like the thread lines that were were there. So. You know, difference of opinions. That's why we're here. Exactly. Well, let us know if you feel the same, if we were wrong, if we hit the nail on the head on some things. I think we're very much on the same path, but different interpretations, you know. And again, um, everyone will digest it on how they on, on how they will take it. So um, but I enjoyed it. I think what we can agree on, it was an enjoyable film, not Shakespeare, uh, not probably the greatest film you'll ever see, but a good film. I, I, I would want to see this again. And, and uh, I plan to see it again because apparently I missed some things that others like you missed that. So, <laughs> but I enjoyed it and, and hopefully all films you can enjoy. It takes a lot of hard work. So shout out again to the entire cast and crew. It takes a village to make a film. And I think they did a good one with this one. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, Heather, ready to sign off out of here? Yeah. Let's blast off into the stars. That's my pal, Heather. I'm your boy, Cleepy. E. If you want to talk all things Space Cadet, hit us up in the comments below and go check out the rest of our picks, reviews, interviews. We're putting in work, y'all. Go check it out. Peace.